Hey there guys, how you doing? Hope everything's going okay and today I'm going to be previewing and giving my predictions for the upcoming Scottish Premiership games this weekend. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So the first game I'm going to be covering is Hibs against Dundee United. Hibs will be looking for a response and getting back to winning ways after suffering their first loss this season against Rangers where they lost 2-1 with 10 men. But they're coming up against a Dundee United team who have just come off getting a 1-0 win against Ross County and have now won two of the last three league games. Dundee United are actually going under the radar at the moment. Defensively, they've been really, really solid all season. But where they've been lacking is in the goal front and they've really been struggling for goals. Uh, but they've recently just made a new signing of Maxime Biamu. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But he's a striker they've just brought in uh, on a free transfer. So we'll see what he can bring to this Dundee United team and whether he'll make his debut this weekend. But the advantage, I think, is in Hibs. They've obviously played at home. Uh, I think they'll have a lot more of the ball. But I think Dundee United will make a tough challenge out of it. They'll be really good defensively. And it'll be hard for Hibs to break them down. But I do fancy Hibs to get the win. Don't get me wrong, it will be tough. But I do just fancy Hibs. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Hibs win. Game 2 now, where Motherwell will be taking on Celtic. And Celtic are coming off a good away result win against Aberdeen, beating them 2-1. And we're going to find out about Celtic and just see whether that win against Aberdeen was a fluke or whether they've actually got a bit of confidence now in doing well away from home. And they're coming up against a Motherwell side who, before their last loss where they played Hearts and lost 2-0, I don't think the 2-0 scoreline really reflected the whole game. I didn't think they played that bad Motherwell in that Hearts game. And before the Hearts game, they were on quite a good run and had a good bit of momentum going. Uh, but I do think it being at home, they can maybe do something against Celtic. But for Ange Postacoglu and the Celtic players in general, they will have a bit of confidence now getting that first away win since February, to, which to me is still absolutely mental that they haven't won an away game since... Well, they won an away game, but they haven't... They didn't win an away game since February, since the last result against Aberdeen. Celtic will have a lot of confidence. They've always got the returns of Furuhashi now back into the team. Callum McGregor, they've been big misses. Uh, but watch out for Motherwell though. They've got uh, Tony Watt, who's got four goals this season. I think he's joint third in the top scorer list with Furuhashi. So I wouldn't count out Motherwell either but I do actually fancy Motherwell in this game to give Celtic a really good game and we're going to go for a 2-2 draw defensively Celtic they've been really poor this season and I think they're always going to give a team a chance because of their poor defence and Motherwell they've played all right this season they played really well so yeah I'm going to go for as I said a 2-2 draw. Now talking about the other team in Glasgow Rangers where Rangers will be taking on Hearts in a top of table clash First against second, uh, Rangers are coming off that big, big win, that 2-1 win against Hibs. Very champion style performance, very gritty, hard fought win. Uh, but it's going to be another tough game coming up against Hearts. Uh, Hearts are currently second as I said and they've been in a good run of form and they're the only unbeaten side left in the league right now. Hearts have got a good little team going on, they've made some good signings as well. Uh, Bannon Gammy from Everton, uh, Ben Woodburn, Cammy Devlin, uh, they've got like Sir Liam Boyce, uh, Craig Gordon in goals. They've got a good solid team building at Hearts. But for Hearts, it's going to be the toughest test they're going to face this season. Going to Ibrox, one of the toughest places to go to other than Celtic Park. And for the 10 other teams in the league, going to Ibrox or Celtic Park, it's basically the two toughest games that they'll face. Also, being at home for Rangers at Ibrox, it's going to be a big advantage to them that they can use. They're going to have a lot of the ball. I think they're going to dominate the game as they normally do at Ibrox. So yeah, I just fancy Rangers just because they're going to have a lot more of the ball. They're going to create a lot more chances. And it's going to be Hart's toughest test. I don't think they will pass the test, sorry. So I'm going to go for a 3-1 Rangers win. Other games going on, Ross County versus St Mirren. Uh, Ross County obviously struggling this season, St Mirren in a good run of form. I do fancy Ross County to bounce back after the international break, get some results, get some points. Uh, but I think St Mirren will give them a good challenge and a good run of form. I'm going to go for a draw, I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Uh, other games you've also got, um, let's see what else you've got. 
uh, St Johnston against Livingston. A lot of pressure on David Martindale at Livingston. Uh, lack of goals. And St Johnston just coming off, getting that 3-1 win against Dundee uh, before the international break. And I think they will continue that. And there'll be more pressure built on David Martindale at Livingston. So yeah, I'm going to go for a 2-0 win for St Johnston. And the last game, Dundee versus Aberdeen. A lot of pressure on Stephen Glass at Aberdeen. Uh, if he doesn't start getting points quick, he might get sacked. Uh, but same with Dundee. Dundee are really struggling. Uh, bottom of the table, lack of goals. Got the Lee Griffiths situation going on. Uh, I think they, both teams will get points, but I think they'll can't each other out. Well, I just explained a draw. Both teams will get points, so I'm going to go for a draw. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the games in the comments below. Uh, just your overall thoughts in the games if possible but thanks guys for watching though really appreciate your time again if you're still watching this you're a legend and uh, yeah um scottish football content on a regular basis uh yeah if you enjoy that sort of content subscribe to my channel with the bell on uh, like the video if you enjoyed the video and yeah thanks guys for watching cheers guys